Okay, so uh, this is my setup that I just finished uh, last night. I haven't used it yet, but uh, I still got to make the uh, electrodes. But anyway, I just wanted to walk through the. Uh, it's a very simple circuit, and I, it's based off of uh, this one, which I found on YouTube. This is by a guy named uh, John Camarada, and um, I'll just walk through it real quick here. This here is a voltage regulator, LM317. And up here he's got his power source, two 9 volt batteries tied in series, so 18 volts into a switch. And then this comes down to pin number three, which is the one on the left, because this thing is upside down. It should be, um, you'll see in a minute. Anyway, so power goes into pin number three, then comes out of pin number two through a 550 ohm resistor. Then this is a variable resistor, or, or potentiometer, which is a 400 ohm. And then from there it goes back to pin number one, which regulates what comes out of pin number two. So, it, power comes in, goes through this loop, and through this eight, continuously. But during that process, some of it is going out here as well which goes into this potentiometer which then sends it out to your brain and the reason for this one is to have a ramp up so that you don't just flick a switch and suddenly your brain is at full power you want to be able to gradually dial it in so that it doesn't like you don't see those white flashes in your eyes okay so let me uh, go back to my circuit here here's my power supply two nine volts tied in series and then the power comes down here to the switch and then uh, from there it goes up through the yellow guy into the hot rail of this breadboard and then over here this little yellow guy brings power from the hot rail to pin number three of the LM317 okay and then from pin number two there's a little this is a 560 ohm resistor and that goes to this potentiometer to the leftmost pin of this pot and this is a 500 ohm pot but it's uh, it's dialed in so that there's 400 ohms of resistance across the first two pins and about 97 across the other two so 560 ohms then another 400 ohms and then from there we go to the middle pin of uh, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to focus. I can't quite see it. Yeah, that gray wire takes from middle pin there to middle pin of this pot. And then, um, oh, and the other thing is from that, basically, so part of the power goes into this pot and part of the power goes back to pin number one of the uh, voltage regulator. All right, so that's the basic, the basic loop is there uh, through that and then back here. So that's your basic regulating loop. And then the output, once I dial this up, will go through this, uh, I think it's 6.8K uh, resistor to the uh, ground rail. And then from the ground rail out through this lead, uh, well, normally this, this lead would take it back to the batteries, but... Uh, I've introduced the leads for my uh, multimeter there so I can measure the, uh, the current. So, okay, let's go ahead and turn this on. Make sure this is dialed down. All right. So, I'm going to switch it on and see what happens here when I switch it on. It comes up just a little bit. Now, uh, I should probably explain this is set on uh, 3 milliamps. You can either measure 3, 30, or 300, and then you look at the scale right under the the uh, thick black line and you see it goes from 0 to 30 so you just use that as a multiplier so from basically you divide by 10 for the setting I have it on now so I'm gonna go ahead and dial this up and you can see it's starting to go up and I've gone at least half a turn already and it's barely moved that's because that this is kind of a cumulative effect. It's like an exponential function. The more I turn it, the faster it goes up. Let 
and now I'm maxed out on this potentiometer and we are rock solid at, at right at 2 milliamps. Um, so it works. Um, yeah, uh, so I gotta go make some electrodes and then uh, we'll give this thing a try. Anyway, uh, hope that was helpful. If anybody wants to build one of these, uh, it was, oh, I should probably explain why I have this uh, 6,800 ohm resistor here. Um, if you look in the this original schematic, he has a le an, uh, LED here to uh, just as a power on indicator. And I tried to wire that up according to this scheme, and it just didn't work for me. I mean, it really didn't work. I don't know. Um, maybe that's why he went to, uh, on to use a, an, a lighted switch, or I, I don't know. But it, I do recommend watching his video. I'll put a link in the description here uh, because he explains it all very well. Um, but anyway, I couldn't find a a good place to put the LED in circuit without having it mess up the the results and uh, eventually this is what I found worked I used a, a little 10k pot and stuck it in here and and found the right resistance to get it exactly where I want at two uh, two milliamps and then I figured out it was I think it came out to be like 7,000 ohms was what the pot was set at so I, I just grabbed the the closest thing to that from my uh, little collection of uh, resistors there and and now she works great and I figure I don't need a power on indicator because I'm always going to have it hooked up to the, the, the multimeter so I'll, I'll know if it's on or not um, and you know later on I'll, I'll get a project box and you know solder it up and, and you know make it look nice and everything but for now um, we're ready to go. Just got to make some electrodes and uh, I'll probably make another video about that. So for now, take care.